Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we are here inside the uh, rat house for the city hall of uh, Aachen. Used to be part of Charlemagne's old palace. Let's go. Uh, we're exploring it right now. Aachen Town Hall or Rat House was built in the first half of the 14th century from the foundations of Charlemagne's palace. Emperor Charlemagne started building his favorite palace in Aachen from 789. After his coronation in Rome in 800, it became not only his permanent seat of residence but also the center of his power. The palace complex ran from St. Mary's Church or the Palatinate Chapel at the south end to the King's Hall at the north end. Large parts of his Carolingian palace complex still survive today. The central element of the church, an octagonal dome structure surrounded by 16-sided walkway, is certainly one of the most impressive church buildings. It was flanked by no longer existing annexes and an atrium, and it was red, as archaeologists have discovered. The Granus Tower The Granus Tower is the oldest surviving section of the former imperial palace. It was built together with the King's Hall at the end of the 8th century. Its original tower of 4 stories up to a height of about 20 meters its fifth and sixth stories were added during the 14th century. Over the years, its spires had been repeatedly destroyed by fire or war. The spire today was erected in 1979. Regrettably, this historical monument is not open to visitors. Now the town hall. Following the deterioration and extensive demolition of the Carolingian palace in the 13th century, the municipal administration agreed with Emperor Ludwig of Bavaria on the construction of a new building that would have a dual function. As the seat of the Free Imperial City's civic administration and as a celebration hall for the grandest festivities of the empire, the coronation banquets. When construction was completed around 1350, the building was acclaimed as one of the greatest and boldest achievements in secular architecture. On the foundations of the former palace and within some of its surviving outer walls, a three-story palatial structure with a strict east-west alignment arose. The remains of the Granus Tower that still survived from Charlemagne's times were augmented with three new stories and integrated into the main building. The north facade was richly ornamented with around 60 figures that were painted and partially gilded. The impact of this edifice on contemporaries was so great that it became the model for many Flemish town halls, for example, in Antwerp and Ghent. During the Great Fire of Aachen in 1656, portions of the roof and towers burned. A decision was quickly made to build a new and much higher towers in the modern Baroque style. From 1727 to 1732, the chief architect of Aachen, Johann Josef Coven, led a fundamental Baroque remodeling of the structure, especially of the front facade and entry steps. The precious ornamental figures were replaced by stucco features. The interior design from this period can still be seen today in the White Hall. The Great Imperial Hall on the upper floor was partitioned into separate rooms and used for a wide variety of purposes. Characteristic of the time period, the wood paneling of the White Hall is in the style of Aachen Leach Baroque master Jacques de Roux, while the wall painting comes from the master painter Johann Christian Bellerand. At the treaty signing ceremony that ended the War of the Austrian Succession in 1748, the Peace Hall was set up, but was not used because of a dispute between the envoys. As a compensation, the city obtained portraits of the envoys, which are present in the various spaces of the city hall. Since the end of the Imperial City era and the Napoleonic occupation of the area, 
The structural condition of the city hall was neglected and the building was seen to be falling apart by 1840. Then, the great romantic Friedrich Wilhelm IV ascended the throne of Prussia. It was decided to restore the emperor's hall in all its historic splendor and original dimensions. The side of the city hall that faced the market was adorned with statues of 50 kings, as well as symbols of art, science, and Christianity. Following the plans of the city architect Friedrich Arc, a staircase was built on the south side as a prestigious entrance to the upper floor. Arc also restored the Gothic window structure on the side facing the marketplace. The Coronation Hall was also restored and a new entrance was constructed. In addition, the painter Alfred Rachel had the task to embellish the room with a large series of frescoes. It began in 1847 and completed by his student in 1861. The frescoes eventually depicted legends from the life of Charlemagne. Another fire in 1883 destroyed the Baroque Towers. Within the city hall, the coronation hall with its frescoes as well as the building's first floor was spared. In the time immediately following the fire, its roof and towers were kept erect through makeshift structures of support. In November 1884, the city of Aachen started a contest among German architects for the purpose of rebuilding the city hall. The first prize went to the Aachen architect Georg Frentzen, who in 1891 was commissioned to rebuild the building and its towers back to neo-Gothic design. It took 18 years for the restoration to complete. It was unveiled on June 19, 1902 in the presence of Kaiser Wilhelm II. In the later part of the 20th century, the city hall survived World War I without sustaining any damage. But during the civil unrest in the Rhenish Republic period, the city hall was stormed by a group of separatists who caused serious damage both to its interior and exterior. In 1943-44, the town hall once again suffered from heavy damages from air raids. So in 1946, restoration work pressed ahead, first of all to secure the structure against collapse and then to rebuild it. In 1950, the provisionally restored Coronation Hall was used for the award ceremony of the very first International Charlemagne Prize, which continues up to this day. The main entrance, the portal of the West Tower, and the windows of the Coronation Hall are all the work of Ewald Matare. The final touch of the current appearance of the Town Hall was only added in 1979 in the form of the new tower spires designed by Leo Hugo. Nowadays, the replicas of the imperial regalia from the Viennese imperial treasury are located in the city hall. The replicas were made around 1915 by the order of the Kaiser Wilhelm II for an exhibition to commemorate the 31 coronations that took place in the city between 813 to 1531. The replicas include the copy of the Vienna Coronation Gospels, the Sabre of Charlemagne, the Imperial Crown of Otto I, and the Imperial Orb. Since 2009, the Aachen City Hall has been part of the Route Charlemagne, a tour program by which historical sites of Aachen are presented to visitors. At the City Hall, a museum exhibition explains the history and art of the building and gives a sense of the historical coronation banquets that took place in the past. So let's take a tour inside the Aachen Rat House.
guys. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the city hall. Now we're going to go to our next destination. So guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and feel free to comment. Hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, come on guys, hit the bell! For notifications! And don't forget to share! And like!